guys, Zach here with Rigid Inspections, and today we're going to inspect a roof. Um, so this is going to be a pretty simple roof. Um, it's like a 412 pitch, just a regular single story gable house here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I'm looking at how I inspect it. Um, for those of you already wondering, this is an extend to climb uh, 15 and a half feet. So it gets me pretty much any single story roof. Um, and right away, I'm seeing improper shingles here on this slope. So this is this right here is a uh, patio roof. Um, probably like a 112, 212, let's see. I got an app here. Pitch gauge. So, let's see if you can see that. Point 0.2, so not to, uh, actually let's take a picture of that. Point 0.3, so. Definitely should have a like a modified bitumen or something. Um, and then I'm using Spectora here. Um, definitely should have like a modified bitumen. You could see the the granule loss here. Um, and then right at the end here, you could see how bad it's cupping here. This is actually granules just piles on because it's cupped at the end of the roof here. Um, so definitely gonna call this out. Um, low slope shingle. So we will put that in the report, that picture there, just so that they know. And then we will take a picture ourselves here. I'm also going to note the cupping at the end. Shingles cupped at the gutter. Put that in the report. Um, these aren't too bad. Their granules are starting to wear just a little bit. I can get down here close. You can kind of see some areas. There's a little bit of felt exposed right there right here too um, so I'm gonna mention that the uh, architectural um, say about 10 to 15 years old I would say um, I'm gonna say their granules are starting to wear uh, definitely monitor have it inspected yearly or, or twice a year just for condition until replacements needed um, Got a little bit of moss growth, not much though. Just kind of mention it there. Not a big deal. All right, so plumbing stack. So what we're looking for here is uh, really height. So it's gonna be at least 12 inches here in Illinois just for snow purposes, which this one makes a cut. Um, but look at the boot right here. You see right here, it's torn. That's gonna allow water to penetrate into the attic. So we're gonna go to the flashing section here. We got aluminum, rubber, and galvanized. We're gonna go down to uh, boot torn and take a picture of that. Um, these ridge shingles aren't looking too hot. They're actually like flat. So I'm definitely going to note that. Don't know if I have a comment for this, actually. I don't really see this too much. So I don't. So what I do is I take a picture. And then I favorite it. And then at the end of my inspection, I look to see if I have any of those that I didn't have comments for. And then I'll make a comment for it. 
let's see here yeah these are wearing down a little bit in areas so i think replacement's going to be needed here soon let's see how many layers we got i like to go on the side here i also do at the eaves but it's just one layer i note that i note if there's two layers that could be more expensive to replace the roof because they got to tear both layers off so i like to check the flues wiggle the uh top there because you can see what starts to happen here let me adjust this a little bit this starts to rust up here and then this cap gets loose because it doesn't have anything to hang on to anymore so i like to note that Go to the flu section. It's metal. Search. Rust. Flu starting to rust. Take a picture. Valleys. This is a closed valley. Um, and that's the California cut. That's what this is called. Which is the most common valley type in my area here in the Midwest. So I'm going to take a picture of this here. The, uh, they mounted this, but they didn't put any kind of sealant or anything underneath the mount. So that's prone to leak. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. The I'm right by a highway, so it might be kind of hard to hear, but these uh, granules on these shingles are coming off as I'm walking on it here. It's uh, You can hear how loose they are just because of how worn the shingles are so plumbing vent is pvc ventilation they got so ventilation on the roof they got this uh um ridge right here they also have soffit and gable and i don't recommend all three of those it's kind of uh not not proper that ventilation method when you throw gable in with soffit and ridge it, it works against each other um, and the roof might not be getting vented properly so that'll be something i'll mentally note so that when i get into the attic i can look for signs of uh improper venting so i'm gonna unmark that I'm going to put, actually, you know, the more I look at this roof, I'm going to write that uh, I would get it evaluated prior to uh, the end of inspection contingencies. And, uh, by, you know, by, by a qualified roofer, see if they recommend replacement. Um, and then, if not, have it inspected twice a year until replacement is needed because there's some areas are okay but the majority of areas especially like the south facing which is this way um, they aren't looking too great and this here on the patio roof needs to be replaced like right now because um, that's going to be prone to leaks if it's not already leaking it's hard for me to tell because the underneath is finished i don't see any stains or anything like that but uh, that will be my recommendation and I also want to note the gutter guards. If you follow my Instagram, you know I don't like gutter guards. They actually cause more issues than they prevent. Um, it's easier just to have your gutters cleaned out a couple times a year rather than put gutter guards on them because what people do is they'll put gutter guards on them and then they'll never check their gutters again 
And those gutter guards, they don't stop granule loss. So you get, like we've seen down here on this roof, you get piles of granules inside your shingles or inside your gutters. And that actually stops them up, keeps water from flowing properly. And then you get a backup of water. And that weight on the, on the uh, gutter causes the gutter to detach or slope improperly, so on and so forth. So that was our roof inspection. We're all finished up. Um, some of the things I was looking for was just if any nail pops are coming through just from attic ventilation issues. Um, any exposed nail heads that need sealing on them, flashing, like you could see there, that boot was torn, um, things like that. But that was the only, that and the, uh, the flue pipe over here were the only penetrations. So I will note that satellite or antenna, whatever you want to call it down there, um, that, uh, that should have some sealing on it where those screws go into the roof. Um, I'll note the moss, but that's not a big deal. And then, like I said before, this patio roof here definitely needs to be replaced um, with like a modified bitumen or some kind of low slope roof covering material. Because, um, what was it, point 0.3 was the slope. And that is not good for a architectural shingle. You need at least a two. And I think a two, you would need a... Uh, um, double under underlayment or you know ice and water on the whole thing um, so thanks for watching guys if you got any questions comment below hit that like button subscribe button i will note this here as well um, for those of you who notice that um, but uh, we'll try to get another roof inspection here in and uh, a little more complicated of a roof next time so we can go over some different stuff we'll see you on the next one Real quick, I just want to show you guys this. So I slid this metal out, like I had mentioned on the uh, the the last part there that I was going to mention. This went ahead and slid it out just to see what was there. It's a hole. There's a hole in the roof. So <laughs> definitely going to mention that.